Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do a reading for you, my friend. It is a bonus read. Happy Sunday to you. I am throwing these cards on a Sunday, but that doesn't mean that it's just for today because these energies linger, right? Even when we go through full moons, when we go through all the planetary changes, it is about lingering energy. So I am here to do a reading for you. It is a bonus read and I do not date or time these readings. It could uh, resonate with you now, but it may not. It is a general read after all. It may not resonate with you at all and it's okay if it doesn't. It is all right. Let's take a look at you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For this bonus read, I'm dropping these cards on a Sunday, but you may find this at a later time and it may resonate then. All right, let's take a look at it here. Tell me about Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus, if you're interested in a private read, please look below this video. Click on more. You will find your way to a link. For Wizio, where you can book me starting at $40 if you're interested in doing that with your time and your money. All right, here we go. Tell me about Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What's coming up for Taurus Collective, please? The entire collective Taurus, right? So this may not be your reading. It is general. We've got uh, the Page of Wands. Okay, we've got good news. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show up in a way that you're not expecting, though, because the Page of Wands is not making plans. Nope. The Page of Wands is really quick with... Um, just doing things on the fly. I'm not going to plan it. I'm just going to do it. The world card shows up. It tells me that there has been an ending, the ending of something, um, which has, I feel, negotiated itself into a place of of achievement. Like it feels like, whew, somebody's like exhaling for a second. It's like I finally closed that chapter. It was a tough chapter, I feel. And I feel like good news is on the way, I want to say, Taurus. We have the Six of Wands, victory even. Yeah. So it feels like you are you are about to walk into a place where you're going to get a lot, of, a lot of attention. And I don't mean walking into a certain establishment. I mean a place in your life where you're going to be magnetic. Your People are going to be attracted to you. People are looking at you. It's like you walk into a place and people notice your energy. And I think that's going to be surprising to you that a lot of people are going to want to communicate with you and talk with you and... Um, it, it feels like you're coming out of a time that was really tough, but it feels like it's um, it's something that you were reaching for that has finally happened. And I think you've changed your energy, I want to say. The world card being the end of a chapter, right? Because there's 21 cards in the Major Arcanas, and I feel like it's the end of a chapter. We have a judgment card. Interesting. So as soon as the chapter's over, it feels like you get this interesting news or someone is messaging you or someone is communicating with you, but you had to let that thing go first. And it could be, you know, a cycle of hardship. It could be a cycle where you're smack talking yourself. It could be the end of a relationship. Take it as it resonates. But we do have Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy here. We also have Virgo and Pisces energy here. The Six of Wands tells me that you're almost across the finish line. Like you're, you're about to cross the finish line and it's like this page of wands shows up to take you the rest of the way. We do have um, seven wands and it, it feels like that they're, when you, this person shows up in your life that you might sort of give them the side eye a little bit. Not really sure if you should trust them. Stay, stay your ground. Um, stand your ground. But we do have uh, judgment here, which means you're going to be making a really big decision about whoever shows up or whatever message shows up here. It's, it's about a collaboration. I saw a meme the other day and it was so great. It said, people who compete with each other are at the bottom, at the top, it's collaboration. And I love that. And that's sort of what I'm reminded when I look at this Taurus. So please be reminded that when you're in competition with someone else, that's the low vibration. When you're collaborating with other people, when you're taking their information that they're giving you and you're willing to give back information in the pentacle world, it feels like it's a, it's a really, it's a really nice back and forward, I want to say, that there is somebody here who I feel is cheering you on and um, is on your team. It's almost like help is arriving. And I don't think you need help, but I feel like everybody could use a little boost now and then, right? It feels like um, that you're very close to meeting a new group of people in the 3D or possibly a new um, partnership. Somebody who wants to be on your team, someone you look up to. Look, it's really important when you're in a relationship, a love relationship, a friendship, when you're in some any kind of ship, that you have someone that you can look to or look up to. And people will look up to you. And that's really great reciprocity, right? 
Ah, look at that, Taurus. The Ace of Cups is here. It starts out as friendship, but it moves into love. It's a decision you're going to be making about, this is really beautiful, kind of in the center of the reading, right? It's like, this is finally over. You can exhale. And it feels like the next leg of the race, going toward the finish line, is going to be with somebody else. It's going to be in a partnership, but it feels like it's going to be in a friendship that grows into love. You will be meeting someone, and for some of you, this is brand new, right? That it feels like you're going to be meeting someone brand new, and you won't even consider them as, as a love relationship, and that's why it's so important to date. I always say to people, um, it's important to date. You don't have to marry everybody that you meet, but you really should be meeting new people and getting collaboration information from other people. Find out what they do for living find out what you do for a living it feels like there this is something that ends up being a long-term friendship that possibly might turn into love tell me what ended here i think you made the decision to close the door here knight of wands you close the door on the knight of wands taurus bravo i'm just gonna do this <laughs> look i think this person was your kryptonite I think this, and if you don't know what kryptonite is, you might want to go look up Superman. But I think that this person is the one who kind of made you weak at the knees because they're very dashing or very sexy or very, you know, beautiful or handsome. This person is someone that you've decided, look, I don't need this in my life anymore. Because I feel like this person didn't give you any stability. So I feel like it was your decision to close the door on the instability that the Knight of Wands was offering for you. The funny thing is, is that when we see this particular depiction of it, there are four wands on this page, right? On this card, there are four wands here, which kind of gives the illusion of stability. And I think that that's what this person was giving you, was the illusion of stability. But I don't think that they were really giving you half of even what you wanted that they were coming in and out of your life with the promise of stability but they weren't giving it to you here we do have uh, the devil you could be dealing with someone who is a capricorn it doesn't have to be but i think that the reason this person couldn't give you what you needed taurus and it's not because they didn't want to give it to you but because they're used to playing people when i see the devil and the knight of wands it it tells me that this person goes from person to person a relationship to relationship and is very um manipulative they use their good looks their charm um their body their beautiful hair and nails and you know great suit and good shoes and you know this person is is very good with manipulating the situation to work in their favor and i think you got caught up in it because look the knight of wands is is hot right the knight of wands is desirable and makes you feel very desirable but with the um the devil next door that means that you were being manipulated and i think you realize that there was manipulation going on here you had to move along so you decided to disconnect yourself from the chaos it felt like chaos it's time for you to move along so i'm going to say that this is quite an achievement because i feel like the knight of wands is your kryptonite someone who could easily bring you to your knees and you kept letting them into your life and um I think it was that they were very passionate, that they made you feel very desirable. But when we're dealing in wands, right, the fires go out. And that's the truth. The fire goes out. If you don't have any stability, and that's what's coming in here, because you let this go, the universe is sending you someone who's going to give you stability first, who's going to show you stability. I can be your friend. I can be there for you. I can be dependable. And then it's going to turn to a love situation here. Tell me about the Page of Wands, because I feel like this person comes on the scene quite by magic. It feels like with the Page of Wands, they don't make any, um, they don't make any any plans, right? This is not strategic. This is not someone thinking ahead. This might be you bump into this person at Starbucks in the lineup, or you you bump into them someplace else. It feels like you bump into them by chance, but they might be introduced to you by a friend or a friend group or a group that you decide. Like maybe it's a group. Maybe you want to join a bowling team and you meet this person at the bowling. You know, like it, it feels like it's a it's something that is not orchestrated. Maybe orchestrated by the universe, but not by you or them. So we have the Eight of Swords here. I feel like when this person shows up, you may not notice them right away. And that's the truth of it. We always, it, they always say like you're, you're, you know, whatever you want is always standing in front of you. The energy is always there. But whether you are in the mindset to receive it or not is up to you. And I feel like you're kind of up in your head from still reeling from having to close the door on this person in the past. We have the Two of Swords. 
<coughs> the Two of Swords is a decision. And the Two of Swords is is also about, um, um, sorry, adding the two to the eight, right? That's the ten. I feel like, it feels like you're still lingering with this energy, but ready to change your mind, I feel. The Hermit is here, and then we have uh, the Death card. So it does feel like you have been um, willing or told the universe, look, I'm ready for change. I'm ready for transformation, right? Pluto is in Aquarius. Everybody's going through transformation and change. This is going to be, you know, a lot of transformation and change that's coming up. But I also feel like you decide to give somebody a chance, even though they just kind of popped up or showed up in your life. You decide to give them a chance as a friend. And this is something that's changed you. I feel like after closing this door that you've decided that you are just going to hang out with really abundant people. Taurus, you could be, this could be you, right? Looking for love, possibly ready to take the leap of faith, but you are only going to be hanging out with people who are on your level. I feel like you really have to be careful with the friends that you pick. And I feel like this is a new friend group or a new friendship that is really sort of on the same level with you. We do have the two of wands. Yeah, you make a decision that it is time to move ahead and make conversation. Six and two is eight. Things start to move ahead in this friendship really quickly here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And so, oh, look at that. You know what? I think the thing is this is that you thought that this was your emperor, but they were not. Now, the emperor, this could be the emperor in reverse, right? That I'm not saying that you don't know the emperor from anybody else, but I'm saying that this person here could have been an emperor who... Uh, was in the reverse. It could be, but I feel like you've been, the reason that you've been single or waiting, I don't know how long ago you closed the door. It could be years. It could be five years, 10 years, who knows, right? It could be a long time. And this is fixed energy. It takes, the, the fixed energies take a very long time to make a decision. So it could be Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo that you're dealing with back here. Um, but it feels like you have decided in transformation. And I want to say that the healing is the transformation that you uh with the virgo energy here and the hermit energy that in gaining more wisdom about letting this go and as you keep letting it go in walks the emperor the true emperor the one who is in the upright and this one is the one who will take their time if it you know it's if it's somebody who's love bombing you and wants you to carry on with them immediately come to my house let's go to your house let's spend every waking moment together it's not the emperor. The emperor is giving stability. They're an authority. They're going to move slow. They don't have a lot to risk. I mean, in fact, they have a lot and they can't risk it all. The emperor cannot risk the empire for a flash in the pan, right? For one night of passion. That's not who the emperor is. The emperor, of course, is the king of wands and is always ever going to do things uh, that are making them feel passionate. They have to move forward in a passionate way. They have to have passion for it or they're not moving forward. But I want to say that this person you're going to meet, the person who's going to strike up conversation with you, Taurus, or maybe the person you'll strike up conversation with is an emperor. And they're probably not going to show that on the surface, but they're going to show up to you as very confident. Uh, somebody who's an authority. Maybe they're a business owner, someone who's very stable and sturdy, someone who's very good with their emotions. They're not going to be overly emotional. I feel like this is somebody that um, is uh, the magician, that you're going to notice that they're kind of resourceful and skilled and they have a lot of, a lot of um, information that they can share with you here. I do believe that you're going to become friends with the emperor. For some of you, maybe you already are friends with the emperor, but I feel like this friendship is going to turn to love. We do have the Eight of Cups. We do have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And I, uh, we do have the, the Eight of Wands. Look, we've got three eights, y'all. And this is your intuition on high. This is success, complete success. This is also financial good stuff. And so we are attached to the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this is, not, this is a person you might meet like in the business world. Like it feels like you might meet them while you're networking. Like it could be that they come into a group of people. Um, maybe you, like I said, you join a bowling team and this person is somebody who's on the bowling team and they are someone who is, who is in the business world. Three eighths for me comes up as a lot of good stuff, right? A lot of good stuff is coming here. It's, a, it's all about the self and you're making good decisions. I want to say with the eight of pentacles in the reverse, I want to say that you're not even going to have to work on this. 
<laughs> I'm going to say that you're not going to have to work on this, that this person is going to put in the effort. They're going to pursue you. Now, the emperor is the masculine leaning energy and also having feminine energy because there has to be a balance of both. We all have it, people, plants and animals, right? I keep saying it to you. But I feel like this person here is going to be the one who's going to pursue. You're going to get the, the texts from them. You're gonna, they're going to call you. There's probably going to be lulls and times where they're not going to they're not going to connect with you, but I don't think you're going to worry. The Eight of Cups is here. You're like, so what? If it doesn't work out, I'll just disconnect, right? But I feel like it doesn't end up being a disconnection. It ends up being a partnership that turns into love. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Sun. Yeah. It feels like somebody here is looking for love. I feel like the Emperor is looking for love. I feel like both of you or entrepreneurs. It seems like, you know, the emperor carrying a business, carrying it all. And um, somebody here who is just starting in business or has made their their fortune, building it up by their self all alone. This could be you or this could be the emperor. I feel like it's you though. Coming up in pentacles here, I feel like it's you. And it feels like your confidence that you gained through doing this all yourself, right? Like I was saying to a friend the other day, just pull back. Pull back and let somebody pursue you. Otherwise, keep your focus on your finances, on your pentacle world, your family, your house, your car, your business, your job. Keep your focus there and it will catch up with you. Look, somebody's going to be asking to take you out. There is uh, three cups here. There is happiness, uh, emotional happiness, and on steroids here. Emotional happiness. We're going to go out. We've got the sun here. Could be dealing with somebody who's a Leo. It doesn't have to be, but look at this. We've got the Queen of Cups here. It's it's This is a very highly intuitive, because this is the King of Cups, this is the Queen of Cups, right? It's a very highly intuitive um, connection. We're very psychically connected here. Could be dealing with Aries. Could be dealing with Leo. Capricorn, as I said. Yeah, somebody here is very available and vulnerable. And it feels like, it feels like with the tower in the reverse that somebody here had been holding off a tower in their marriage for a while or in their relationship. So this person could, the way you might recognize them is they're, they might say that they're fresh out of a relationship or that they're ready to get a divorce and they've been separated for a while. It doesn't have to be for all of you, of course. This is a general reading. This person might be single. There is a nine of pentacles here as well. I'm reading for a lot of energies. But I want to say that eight of wands tells me that this person is not scared to pursue you. And that's the emperor, right? The emperor is not scared to pursue you and um so whether you're the the emperor or another sign or you're an empress it feels like somebody is going to pursue you all right i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching i will go and i'll be back because i'm always back because i love you too much not to stay away love you guys Bye bye